Very cool. And there we go. All Great right. Job, Hef. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to our, I guess, what is our Halloween or pre Halloween edition of the Arlington Weekly News. I'm Craig Nolan. Thanks for joining us. Buenas noches, Mr. Buenas Nolan. Buenas noches, Senor Pineda. I'm Daniel Pineda. <laughs> My name's Adele Quo. And here we go with our, I guess, our Halloween show for 2015. <laughs> hard, hard to believe we're into, almost into it. End of October. Burr month number three here. Holy cow, hope you're enjoying some of this uh, beautiful Indian summer weather we've been having. <laughs> uh, we have. Um, well, the usual stuff here, our news and CBB and Adele is here with... It's, it's easy, easy being green. green. We almost get that right almost every night. North Beckerman in his Brain Healthy Minute, uh, our CBB and News for Seniors files, and then an interview and uh, our special report from Miss Amy. Amy Miss Amy's Sue. back for her uh, uh, pre-Halloween yeah. slash <laughs> Halloween <laughs> special, <laughs> and that's our show. But before we go, a social media reminder from my part. Absolutely, Mr. <laughs> Nolan. You can watch the Arlington Weekly News on our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News and the number... One. Oh, one. Yeah, get the, get the one right. And also Facebook.com slash Arlington Weekly News. Mr. Nolan. All right, go Cubs. Here we go. <laughs> First of our news items. Well, in breaking news, an Arlington resident has been arrested for murder. 51-year-old Tommy Cummings had, has strangled 50-year-old Edward Young Jr. of Martinsburg, West Virginia. This occurred on Saturday, October 17th. Uh, the incident took place in West Virginia. Cummings was identified, tracked, and arrested just Monday, the 19th of October. The arrest was a result of uh, joint efforts by Martinsburg Police Department, U.S. Marshal Service, and Arlington County Police Department. Cummings is being charged with first-degree murder. Daniel. Well, Craig, Arlington may have won an award for old growth, but it's also winning awards for new growth, too. The county won the Stars and Stripes Award from Election Center. The award highlights the county's top partnerships for election administration. It recognizes the joint efforts of Arlington's Office of Election and some members of the Smart Growth Planning Commission to make sure that residents in high-density high-rises can easily get to polling stations. The Election Center is a nonprofit whose members are mostly voter registration, uh, administrators, registration that is, and elections administrators. Their goal is to promote, preserve, and improve democracy. Craig. All right, and in other election news, speaking of voting and elections, elections are coming up next month. General election polls will be open from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Tuesday, November 3. Uh, on the ballot are seats for Virginia Senate, Virginia House of Delegates, county constitutional offices, county board, and school board vacancies. For details and to get an application, you can visit uh, this website, vote.arlingtonva.us. There are two ways that you can vote by absentee ballot. One way is to request your application to vote from the registrar's office by fax, U.S. mail, or email. If you use this method of absentee voting, your ballot has to be received at the registrar's office by Tuesday, October 27th, by 5 p.m. Uh, if you can't vote in person on election day, you can vote absentee in person. If you vote absentee in person, you can extend your voting deadline until Saturday, October 31st at 5 p.m. More information now, in-person absentee voting is at, will be held at, the Courthouse Plaza at 2100 Clarendon Boulevard, Suite 320, Arlington, Virginia, Monday through Friday from 8 to 5 p.m., except Thursday, October 29th. Those hours will be extended to 7 p.m. And Saturday, October 31st, voting hours are from 8.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can complete your absentee ballot application when you come to vote. For more information about all of this absentee voting stuff, go to the website http uh, vote.arlingtonva.us slash events, and they'll have information for you there. All right, we'll be back with uh, whatever is next right <laughs> after we hear from Adele Quo. And it's, it's easy, easy being green. green. Here's Adele. Hey, well, at least I get a good introduction. You get a great introduction. Oh, <laughs> well, hello, Arlington, and let's welcome Yvette 
and our stand-up chameleon, yes, because Joe is still on vacation. Our stand-up chameleon, Mo, is joining us because it is just in time for Halloween that we get to talk about National Bat Week, which starts October 25th to the 31st this year. Last year, Easy Being Greeners learned about overcoming our myths of bats, because when you first mention bats, the first reaction might be rabies. Although rabies is a very serious disease, according to the Organization for Bat Conservation, you have a better chance of winning your state lottery jackpot or being murdered by your husband than dying of rabies from a bat bite. Don't you just love those statistics? <laughs> also from last year's Bat Week, Ben Affleck as Batman, Amy Adams as Lois Lane, and director Zack Snyder in the upcoming Batman vs. Superman movie appeared in a video for the Organization for Bat Conservation to talk about how valuable bats are in our ecosystem. Can Batman help save our bats? Check out their video shown on your screen, the YouTube one there. This year on Halloween, the Organization for Bat Conservation wants to set a world record for the most bat houses built in a day as part of the 2015 Bat Week. The goal is 5,000 new bat houses. Even if you don't live near the Organization for Bat Conservation in Michigan, all across the U.S. and Canada, host sites are set up where kids and adults can come together to build bat houses to give bats safe and healthy homes. So visit the, their website, batconservation.org. It's on your screen, and you can learn more about the national celebration of importance of saving our bats. And here locally for Arlingtonians, if you are looking to join the Bat Week 2015, Riverbend Park will host this year's Build Your Own Bat House from 10 a.m. to 12 noon on Halloween, which is October 31st. Build your own bat house to hang in your yard. To register, watch your screen. You can email rita.peralta at fairfaxcounty.gov. You can call 703-759-9018. Or, of course, register online at the Fairfax County Park Take websites. Again, that's on your screen there. And remember, it's easy being green, celebrating all things batty during National Bat Week. Yes. Batastic. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, about the Batastic. And can we all do the Batman theme song? No, 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 no. I knew you all wanted to do it. Come on, you all wanted to. Okay, great stuff. Thanks, Adele. Happy Bat Day to you. Happy Bat Week. Happy Bat Week to you as well. Uh, We'll be back with our, uh, we want to do CBB or Nort now? Nort? Nort. Nort. Okay, we'll be back with our CBB file right as we hear from Nort Beckerman and his Brain Healthy Minute. Here's Nort. Hi, I'm Nort Beckerman, author of A User's Guide to a Healthy Brain. Halloween is upon us. That means kids and candies and lots of fun. And if you're going to participate in trick-or-treating by giving out candy, make sure that it's harmless. Before you buy your candy, check the ingredient label for partially hydrogenated and hydrogenated oils. They're trans fats. You don't want your kids ingesting them or your, anybody else's kids ingesting them. They're artificial oils used by manufacturers to increase the shelf life of their product. But since they're artificial, your brain and body don't know what to do with them. They, they stay on your blood vessels creating a potential blockage that will prevent needed blood from getting to your heart, lungs, and brain. So before you buy your Halloween candy, check the ingredient label for partially hydrogenated and hydrogenated oils. Now here are a few candies that don't have them. M&Ms, Kit Kats, Rolos, Milk Duds, Nerds, and, and Hershey's candies. So Again, check the ingredient label. Have fun and enjoy Halloween. I'm Nort Beckerman. I'll see you here for a brain healthy moment. Oh, is that okay? Nort's fade. Ooh, Nort faded. He out. disappeared. Thanks, what what Nort. happened? Nort evaporated. He, he went <laughs> away. Halloween. Thanks, Nort. <laughs>
Another edition of Brain Health a Minute. Here we go, a uh, next uh, edition of our, our CBB, our CBB file, Community Bulletin Board file. News for Seniors Glasses Adjustment, the 40th, 40th, holy cow, Marine wow. Corps Marathon. We held Sunday, this coming up uh, Sunday, October 25. There'll be several changes around the metro area to accommodate uh, uh, the 30,000 runners and the 100,000 or so spectators. Metro will open two hours early at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. and have more frequent blue line rides and have no track work. Mm, that'll help. Pentagon will be the favorite stop for people to use uh, to get there. However, Metro officials recommend that you use Pentagon City Stop uh, instead, if you can, because of uh, just the huge amount of crowds that will be there. You can visit their website, www.marinemarathon.com, for more details on all of the festivities, easy for you to say, surrounding Marine Corps Marathon coming up this weekend. Daniel. And Craig, Halloween will be Saturday, October the 31st. And to keep partiers safe, the nonprofit Washington Regional Alcohol Program, RAP, will run a Halloween Sober Ride program that night. You can get a free cab ride home between 10 p.m. on Saturday, October the 31st and 4 a.m on Sunday, November the 1st, by calling 1-800-200-TAXI-FREE. The purpose is to reduce the number of impaired drivers on the street. Craig. All right, Senior Pineda, also in our CBB file, just in time for Halloween, Crystal Screen becomes Crystal Scream uh, this month when it features the movie The Exorcist. It's 1970s horror movie starring Linda Blair, well, start at sunset around 6.15 on October 26th. You can uh, bring your picnic uh, basket uh, and bring a blanket to uh, the green at 1851 South Bell Street. You can visit hashtag crystal screen or buff.ly slash 1MRY. <laughs> it's on your screen there for more <laughs> details about, uh, the, wow, the exorcist coming up on, on the big screen. Daniel. Well, Craig, uh, tech shop DC Arlington is also getting into the Halloween spirit. They're hosting a very uh, steampunk Halloween on Thursday. That's October the 29th at 6 p.m. at their 21, uh, 2100 Crystal Drive location. If you haven't heard of the term steampunk before, I haven't. According to oh, Google, God. it is a science fiction genre focused on steam-powered machinery. For costume inspiration, think Robert Downey Jr., Judy Law, and Rachel McAdams, and Sherlock Holmes, Hugh Jackman, and Kate uh, Beckinsale. How did I say that, Craig? Very good. Beckinsale. Yeah. And Van Helsen are the lead of Extraordinary Gentlemen, starring Sean Connery. Uh, visit that uh, goo.gl slash F3C9PG for tickets yeah, and more yeah. information. Yeah. And a very uh, Steampunk Halloween, Thursday, October the 29th, 6 p.m., 2100, Crystal Drive. Craig. Steampunk. Steampunk. Some a lot, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ah, take two. <laughs> take two. <laughs> My goodness. Halloween has arrived early here. Uh, some information now on libraries. A uh, library has a program this fall, especially for the 20 to 30-somethings uh, in the area. How to Adult series features different authors discussing issues that young adults commonly uh, have to navigate, including relationships, first-time home buying, cooking, and more. All these free talks will be coming up on Wednesdays at 7 in the evening at the Central Library's Auditorium. Uh, the October 28th session will be How to Eat, and it will show you how to plan menus and perform basic cooking skills. Okay, that's coming up at the library. Our news for seniors file now, we we'll roll right into that. Here we go, wills and trusts. Elder law attorney Ed Zetlin is presenting a program on wills and trusts. He'll explain how best to prepare a will, different types of trusts, and uh, an old question and answer session. Uh, this free program will be held Wednesday, October 28 at 1 in the afternoon at Langston Brown Senior Center. Uh, for more information, it uh, should be on your screen there. Call Langston Brown, 703-228-6300. Daniel. And Craig, if you are a Medicare Part D prescription drug or Part C Advantage plan holder, did you know you can adjust your plan once a year? Well, from October the 15th to December the 7th, Medicare holders 
or holds an open enrollment period. You can make changes to your Part D or Part C benefits, including premium costs, deductibles, co-payments, and drugs covered. A trained Medicare counselor from the Virginia Insurance Counseling and Insistence Program will be at Walter Reed Senior Center to help you compare your plans. Call 703-228-0955 to schedule an appointment. Slots are available on Wednesday, October the 28th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. There is no fee. Craig. All right, and also in our News for Seniors file, congratulations to 80-year-old Arlington resident Jim Shea. Wow. He just won this year's annual Senior Spelling Bee Contest at Lee Senior Center. Mm -hmm. He won in a sudden death spell-off uh, contest against Tom Kerwin. Shea won second place in the National Spelling Bee Contest uh, quite a few years ago, 67 years ago at the age of 13. Congrat congratulations to both Jim Shea and Tom Kerwin. Uh, on that spelling bee, and I don't know what the word was, but maybe we can get that information <laughs> to you. For more information it. on spelling bees, uh, call the Lee Senior Center. Uh, their number is 703-228-0555. Uh, and we'll be back uh, with a quick sign-off and bye-bye right after we hear from Miss Amy and her Halloween special. Here's Amy. Have a happy, have a happy, have a happy Halloween. We will treat some, then we will eat some. Have a happy Halloween. What do witches put on their hair? Scare spray. How do monsters tell their future? They read their horoscopes. Why is a ghost such a messy eater? Because he's always a goblin. <laughs> Now tonight, we're going to meet some new friends here with me. Here with me tonight on this Halloween special of the Arlington Weekly News is none other than Carlos and Juliana, friends of the Arlington Weekly News. Now tell us, Carlos, how old are you and what are you going to be this Halloween? Well, what I want to be for Halloween is kind of a secret and oh. I'm 13. You're 13 and it's a secret, okay. Well, guess you'll have to wait till Halloween, boys and girls. And Juliana, how old are you and what are you gonna be for Halloween? I'm 11 and um, I'm gonna be an M&M for Halloween. An M&M, that's great, which color? Blue. Blue one, that's great. Now, if you haven't had time to go shopping for your Halloween candy, I have some ideas for you. Now, there is a lot more out there than just candy corn. Did you know that? Because, oh, and for coming on the show tonight, I have some partying gifts for you. Did you know that? I bet they didn't know that. You can find a tray of not ice, boys and girls, but eyeballs. <laughs> Gummy eyeballs. Those are for you. You can also find... A bloody lollipop, if that is to your liking. Yum, yum, for Miss Juliana. Oh, thank you. You can also find, if you didn't like those two, mm, some lollipop fingers. Maybe you can find those in your trick-or-treat baskets. Two fingers for you and two fingers for your sister. Ooh, or maybe a lollipop mouth. Yum. Mmm. Or a gummy hand. Yum. A gummy hand. Ooh, now this is the piece de resistance. I told you this is no longer your mom's candy corn. It is a Dracula fangs and it comes with its own bag of candy blood that you oh. bite into. Moms and dads will love this. Super messy, running down the face. Mm -mm, you can fight over that. Okay. Now, I have some fun things in Arlington for the kids to do. Making cider at the Gulf Branch Nature Center and Park. You're going to love this, especially if you love apple cider the way I love apple <laughs> cider. Kids ages 9 to 12. Well, that fits right in with your age, and if you stoop down a little bit, I bet you could get under the line. 
can help make apple cider at Golf Branch Nature Center and Park. They'll enjoy some different varieties of apples, weed the apples, and make cider on the press. Come ready to chop, mash, squeeze, and enjoy. For more information, 703-228-3403. Meet the Golf Branch Nature Center, registration required. Cost is a $5 payable on the day of the program. And you know what it is? It is this Sunday, October 25th, 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Contact Golf Branch Nature Center at 3608 North Military Road. And again, that's 703-228-3403. Now, boys and girls, this is going to be great. Moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas, if you had the kids over, what could be more fun or halloween -y than making a bug? And it is so simple. Get yourself a Mounds bar, some chocolate icing that all the kids have, some pretzel sticks, some assorted candy, whatever you like, M&Ms, they have Skittles, Dots, you guys get work in here. So take your Mounds bar. There you go. You're going to put the icing on the Mounds bar. There you go. They're going to work on that. And it's better if you break the pretzel sticks in two. That was the hardest part for me because my pretzel sticks kept going through the Mounds bar. It was very frustrating. Stick your pretzel sticks in the Mounds bar. And this is so much fun. The best part of making this was licking my fingers. And then, see, there you go, licking your fingers. There's lots of napkins there for you. And then you just decorate the candy. I found the eyeballs, which you should have a bag of eyes, at any place that sells um, cake decorating supplies, so any craft store. Or you can just use, you know, the m and Stick two blue M&Ms, or if you like green eyes, stick two green eyeballs on there. So, guys, are you looking forward to Halloween? Yes. Big time. Yeah. How much candy do you want to get? Oh, I'm planning to beat my record for last year, which was 16 pounds. 16 pounds? My goodness. Do you still have any of that candy left? No. No. I have a sweet tooth. So tell me, uh, Juliana, what is your favorite candy? My favorite candy is M&M's. M&M's, of course, because she's going to be an M&M. And Carlos, what's your favorite candy? That's a hard one. That's a hard He's a mysterious man, that Carlos. So, Juliana, what was your all-time favorite costume? Can you recall a favorite costume? Oh, that's hard. It's hard. I don't know. Well, I can tell you, I was Wonder Woman one year, and that was my all-time favorite <laughs> costume. Carlos, do you have an all-time favorite costume? Hmm. Let's see. Well, He's thinking. I, well, I do remember when I was a, va a vampire last Ooh, year. Ooh, a vampire. Well, then you're going to want that blood for sure, and maybe those fangs. Well, guys, we wish you again. A happy, a happy, a happy Halloween. Go home, make some bugs. They're delicious as well as lots of fun to make. Maybe you can get out on Sunday and make some apples at the Golf Branch Nature Center. And we'll see you next week right here at the Arlington Weekly News. All right, Miss Amy Sue and her Halloween Incredible bugs. Job, that that looks always. like fun and good to eat, too. <laughs> I'm hungry now. I want a bug. Your dentist, <laughs> Chocolate bug. Your dentist will love, love you after you're <laughs> yeah. having those treats. Okay. 60, and 16 pounds of uh, candy. That's He's going to try to beat that record. Oh, that's yeah. quite a record. We 16 pounds. That's a lot of candy. Well, uh, thanks Guinness to Amy World Sue World. and her new friends there. Yeah. Carlitos. Car Carlito, Carlos, <laughs> and uh, Juliana. <laughs> Uh, television stars of the future. Anything else to add before we go, folks? You got to huh? wrap up and say goodbye. Let's do it. Happy so, Halloween. Some happy Halloween happy music Halloween. for you. We're going to sign off with it. Ready? Um, one, happy two, three. Na 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 na